Jackie Clark, formerly Jackie Lemieux, I think I'm saying that right, died of cancer around 2015. She was uh, already, well, she was a local liberty activist, not a free stater, if I recall. She was already here, but just sort of welcomed us, got connected with us, and then began dying slowly. To me, even before she got sick, she always seemed like she was lit on fire, trying to get everything done as fast as possible. Maybe I'm just reading that in. I don't think her name changed until toward the end, when someone married her. I don't know his name. I guess it must have been Clark. I believe she left at least two children behind when she died. I've never seen the country so angry. Howard Katz, who I believe we lost around 2012, was, if I recall, part of the Ayn Rand crowd in New York back in the day. He was a thinker. I remember having him having some interesting ideas, but I don't remember what any of them were. Here, let's see if any of them were preserved in my archive. They frightened people and caused them to sell and caused a little bit of this deflationary trend to occur and <clears throat> in fact what's going on what's happening is exactly the opposite prices are not going to go be when we look back on this period when we look back on 2008 from oh, sorry, um, when, we, when we look back on 2008 from say the year 2020 we'll see that there was a massive increase in prices and the little decline in the autumn of 2008 was a tiny little blip, which will amount to nothing. And most people are making the wrong decision right now. Most people are making the kind of decisions that they would make for a depression or a deflation. And they've got to be making the exact opposite decisions. A lot of people sold their stocks in early October. The stock market just collapsed. The stock market will rebound and be sharply higher and we will look back on these prices as a, a very good buying opportunity. I don't remember this activist's full name and I'm not sure how to find it. An internet search isn't helping me, but if I recall her first name was Denise and we lost her around 2013. She's seen here, I've, if I recall, helping with a get-together for orphaned free staters on Thanksgiving. Uh, we were sort of orphaned. We'd, uh, you know, people who had left their families behind to move to New Hampshire. This was probably around 2008 when this was shot. She also left children behind when she died. Thank you for your time with us, Denise. This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard.